We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest, Hungary, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Elizabeth Martin Zaghi, who is the Director of the Legal Service for the Tanzanian Regulatory Authority. Uh, Mr. Zaghi, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Happy to be here. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about the theme here at ITU Telecom World 2015 is accelerating innovation for social impact. How do you see innovation directly impacting socioeconomic development in Tanzania? In Tanzania, we believe that uh, technology is the accelerator of the economy and we encourage the development of technology in our country. And we have done a number of things due to the policy which we have, to the regulatory framework which we have, which encourages innovators to participate. And uh, as far as Tanzania is concerned, the technology which we have seen, the value added technology which has been added to the telecommunication is on mobile money. The mobile money now is like a bank to our people and it ha has helped a lot in a lot of things. In the payment of the different services, nobody will just decide to go to the bank and waste a lot of time in the bank, so it saves the time for somebody to do that. And also, even in the villages, the people now are using mobile money to do a lot of things. And uh, we have encouraged a lot of our innovators through the licensing framework which we have. It is technological neutral and uh, service neutral, so it enables them to think out of, of the box. So in that way, it has really helped our people to do a number of things, and we believe that uh, we are on the right track. And how quickly has this change happened? Yeah, the change happened since 2005 when we introduced the, the new licensing framework and when we had, uh, we had reviewed our policy, the telecommunication policy. We, had, we used to have a telecommunication policy, but we also had to put in place an ICT policy. And we developed a number of strategies which helped a number of people to provide the services, the different services. What measures do you think that government and industry can take to encourage entrepreneurship and foster the growth of SMEs in the ICT sector? Uh, I mention this particularly because here we're, we've been focusing quite a lot on SMEs and uh, looking at innovation. And I just wanted to find out what is, uh, uh, what is, what is what we, essentially what's, what's happening in, in Tanzania, what's the situation there? In Tanzania, we have established a number of incubators which allow the innovators to participate in this, in this as a startup uh, because they have ideas after finishing universities they know things but they don't have the opportunity these are uh, young uh, energetic uh, men and, uh, and women we have the incubators like the DTBII which uh, was uh, at first we started with the Red Bank but there are a number of uh, incubators which have started like Kino Tanzania ICT, Mara Foundation, and they have a niche of business with these different incubations. So, and they've managed to develop a, a good number of uh, innovators. Some have even managed to, to be identified by the international organizations like Forbes. Uh, some have even managed to, prov to provide services to provide applications which is helping the, the government in ensuring that this, the service go far, like uh, the payment systems, they may to do that. We have we even here one of the young innovator who has uh, managed to, uh, to provide an application which helps if somebody loses his telephone, up, his telephone, then he has a backup and whatever. And even the payment system, some of them are here. And also the funding, where it is, we, we know innovators, they like funding. So the government, much that Tanzania is not a very rich country, but it manages to fund some of these in, uh, innovators. And also we promote them by coming to meetings like here, the World Telecom, and even other to come and exhibit their knowledge. And in that regard, they managed to get partners. We have even managed to export some of the talented people in Sudan, and uh, they are doing a good job. 
I was going to ask you, how uh, is ITU Telecom World helping to showcase uh, innovation and support SMEs? But you're obviously, you're doing it yourselves by bringing, doing, yeah. bringing, yes, bringing yes. people here across. And, yes. uh, and has, it been, has it been a successful venture? It has been a very successful venture because uh, these young innovators have, been managed, have managed to meet uh, uh, some partners who are partnering in uh, doing some activities. Like the other guy whom I mentioned is called Magila Tech. They have been partnering with a, a company in, in Malaysia. So by doing that, of course, we are exporting some talents from outside and also managing to get some uh, investment in your country. Also, I wanted to ask you, uh, what is uh, the value for, for Tanzania of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? Uh, Tanzania is not in any island, and uh, we need to meet with other people. Like here in Telecom World, you meet the industry, you exchange ideas, you meet your fellow regulators, you exchange ideas, you meet the SMEs from different parts of the world, uh, this enables you to share and, uh, of course, add value not only to the country but also to the to the to the to, to the international community because uh, wherever you are, you have something to add. So by coming to ITU Telecom, we get a chance of meeting different people. We get uh, contacts and also new ideas which help to improve our our industry back home. Finally, what's your main message to participants here at ITU Telecom World and uh, the wider audience uh, that we will be watching this on the internet? Yeah, because uh, this uh, Telecom World is more geared to SMEs, the industry, the government, we need to help them. Because it is through the SMEs where we see that there are changes which are going to happen. So, and this SMEs funding is a problem. Because it's a new graduate who comes out of the of the of the college, he's uh, not liquid. He cannot be given a loan from the bank. So, the only help is the government, some partners like World Bank and the rest, which can help this uh, SMEs to prosper. That's wonderful. Well, thank you very much indeed for being with us in the studio today. Much appreciate about it. Thank you a lot.